Hello my gorgeous Aries, this is Debs and this is your reading for July 2022. Firmly into summer months guys, how amazing is that? And I do hope you're well. Aries, um, I was wandering around my kitchen feeling really angry this morning. <laughs> and it might be because I was channeling someone's energy because I knew I was doing Aries reading today. Um, I try to space out my readings. I only actually do three YouTube readings a day because I meditate I shuffle the deck, I channel through, I set up, and then I do the reading. And usually these readings are 45 minutes to an hour, okay? So I can only manage three a day. So it was very specific um, fire energy I was channeling. I thought, I'm going to do the fire signs today. Aries came through and I just began to feel cross. And I thought, what is going on? And I was about to make breakfast and Michael said, sit down, sit down. You need to do Aries reading now, okay? Now, I'm I'm actually recording this at 10.10 10 in the morning, so um, are we looking at something completing Aries? I don't know. But anyway, um, let's just delve in and see what comes through. What I heard were the words unreal and disbelief. This is just unreal, and I'm just, I can't believe it, right? Nothing else came through. So, okay, with that really long intro, guys, <laughs> before you turn off... Um, let's uh, get into this reading and see what comes through. Here we go, Aries. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aries. This is July 2022. Oh, I don't know why. I'm seeing a woman in the kitchen snapping a plastic top on a carton. You know, one that seals, one that's waterproof or frostproof. It snaps down. Okay, I'm now seeing someone clicking their fingers. Um... Aries, you may have made a snap decision or Aries, you are the person that someone's made a snap decision about very quick. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Uriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Haniel. Yeah, disbelief, snap decision, OMG. What is going on here, Aries? What is going on? Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Mm. Yeah, oh my goodness. Seven of Cups in reverse, decision made. Coming out of confusion, decision made, snap decision. Okay. Okay. Okay, crossing that is a two of wands in reverse. Now standing at crossroads. I thought this is a cross watcher reading for you, Aries. I think someone has made a snap decision about you and they are on their way. They are on their way. This is somebody who's been looking at various options, standing at crossroads, snap decision. Oh, Michael's saying not looking at various options. Not looking at various, okay. Okay, sorry, I'm channeling. I'm hearing, uh, I, I'm hearing a guy say, I just don't want to be here anymore. This was a really bad mistake. Ooh. Aries, has someone made a bad mistake and they are coming back to you? I'm hearing back. I want to go, I want to go back. Okay, sorry, I'm channeling and it's faint. Um, in the past, King of Swords. This is somebody who spoke their truth, very blunt, very straight. I'm hearing that's my decision. Okay. After that time, Aries, with the energy of temperance, you had to heal. And you may be coasted for a while. Okay. In your thoughts, Six of Wands. What you're realising now, Aries is that you're going to be feeling pretty damn good <laughs> very soon. It may be intuitively you know this person's coming back. It could be that you're feeling that this person will feel victorious if you accept them back. Hmm. Three of Pentacles, yes, Aries. You're realizing that somebody wants to rebuild the foundation with you. 
Somebody that left you in the past. Somebody that left you in the past. With the Seven of Pentacles in your fears, you're fearing that too much time has gone past. You're fearing that it's too late. That the chemistry's gone. That you're not going to feel the same way about this person when you see them. But this person's coming back in, Aries. Because what you're thinking about at this point of time is, oh my goodness, they want to rebuild this foundation with me. Okay, let's see, let's see. Justice, yes. You could be connecting to a Libra, Aries. A Libra, a Sag, a Leo, maybe from the past, for some. This is someone who wants to get their life balanced. This is somebody who wants to come in and lock you down. Yeah, in your hopes, Ace of Wands, hoping for that passionate new start. Yeah, Knight of Swords, they're coming in fast. Aries, this is someone who I'm feeling dated you, left you, possibly went back to their ex and has changed their mind and is coming back in. Hence, disbelief. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. Now, I'm feeling that the energy of anger was you almost feeling as if this person's been messing you around. Okay, so we dated. You basically broke my heart and sodded. I'm hearing sodded off back to the ex. I'm sorry, guys. I'm hearing sodded off back to the ex. And you realise you made a mistake. So you're coming back to me, huh? I'm hearing somebody feeling quite cross. Oh, you think you can just walk back into my life? Yeah, but Aries, I have to say that there's also a sense of excitement because I think you really want this, you know? All right, let's see. Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, yep, yeah. oh my goodness. So Aries, I think that at the time that they dated you, they hadn't actually emotionally disconnected from their partner, their ex-partner. I think they moved towards you. There was a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion. Things moved forward quickly. And then I think they, they left you. They might even have ghosted you. And I think they headed back to their ex. And this is somebody feeling really guilty about that. Really guilty. So you may have been a rebound fling if this person wasn't happy in their relationship. And then they just ghosted you after they realised, oh, maybe I do still love my ex. And they went back. And then this is this person realising they made a massive mistake. Mm. Okay. Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. Yeah. Six of Cups in reverse. Is somebody feeling really guilty? They were sad and nostalgia about you. This is somebody who is deciding, I don't want to go back to my ex again, but I did it once. Is Aries going to take me back? They don't think they can heal this. Start in reverse, Aquarian energy. They don't think they've got a hope in hell, but they're coming back in to try. You may not believe it. It's almost as if you're thinking the cheek of this person, right? I gave them a chance. I knew that there was an X in the picture, but I gave them a chance. And then they went scuttle. I'm hearing scuttling. Oh, dear. Like a beetle. Like a beetle, like an insect. Oh, OK. Scuttling back to their X. And now they want to come back in again. Can't believe it. But oh, Aries, I think you find this person really attractive. I do think you still have love for this person, but it's almost as if you don't think that you should because they messed you around. You don't want to feel what you're feeling, which is excitement, because you should be very cross with them. And I think you are angry, actually, because I think you feel this person has completely messed you around. But the fact is, is that they want back in. And if you two were just dating in the past, this could be Aries, a really serious offer. I mean, this is moving in together, getting engaged, okay? 
they may know that they have to make you a very serious commitment for you to say yes this time because of the messing around. Okay, guys, underneath the deck. Yeah, guys, King of Wands. King of Wands, Aries, this is your counterpart. You could be connecting to a fellow fire sign. This is someone who is taking action. This is somebody, oh my goodness, page of pentacles. I mean, that could be somebody turning up with a little gift, a little box, maybe. Are they going to propose? This is somebody who's realizing they have to make some kind of grand gesture for you to even take them seriously because of what they put you through in the past. And I think they're about to do that. Via the swords. You may see this person as being selfish or simply Aries. You may see this person wanting to fight to be with you. After I'm hearing screwing up big time. Screwing up big time. Okay, Aries. Wow. Mm. Okay, people, let's delve in. Um, switching the cards over a little bit, a little bit. Bear with me two seconds, guys. I'm nearly done. I just want you to see all the cards clearly. All right. Try not to fiddle with them too much. I know it irritates some of you, but I do get energy from these cards. I actually feel stronger channeling when I touch the cards, if you didn't know that. Okay, Aries. So here we have you, Seven of Cups in Reverse. I think you are coming out of confusion and realizing that with the Two of Wands, your person wants to come back. You may have wondered whether or not you'd ever see this person again. You may have been thinking about them on and off. Or this is simply their energy. They have been sitting feeling a bit confused, but realized that they want you back. In the past with the King of Swords, Aries, this is somebody who was very blunt, very straight, and they may have said, I'm really sorry, this is not working out. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And I think they said their piece and they left. I mean, it may not have been as blunt as that, but this is somebody who just spoke the truth. Truth is, yeah, I uh, don't think this is working. See you later, Felicia. And you kind of didn't believe it. And you later may have realised that they went back to their ex. It was actually the ex they returned to. So with temperance, you may have waited for a while. You may have coasted for a while. But I think eventually, Aries, you thought, well, they're not coming back. I've got to heal. I've got to move on. Sag energy. In your thoughts now, this is either you feeling intuitively they're coming back to you or you know that they are. They might have messaged you, you know, can I meet up with you in a couple of weeks time or next week? Uh, I want to talk to you and you're thinking, I know where you're coming back. Six of Wands. So you're either fe feeling victorious because basically they've left their ex to be with you. Kind of you've won. There could be a little bit of pride and ego. It could be that you feel this person is sat in a little bit of ego expecting to be victorious with you. And for some of you, you may feel a bit cross about that. Yeah, if they think they're just going to be waltzing back into my life, I'm hearing as if butter wouldn't melt in their mouth. They've got another thing coming, you know. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Three of Pentacles in the immediate future for my Aries, please? Thank you, Michael. When does that come through? Thank you. August the 12th, okay. August the 12th, next month, okay. He's pointing forward, wow, okay. To the 1st of September. Mm. So within that three week period, which is approximately, it's approximately three weeks, or on those dates, they're coming back to you. What they're saying is justice. Could be a Libra, we've got a Libra guy down here. But with the energy of justice, We've got someone coming in saying, I've balanced my life out and I want you back. And I want to lock you down. Justice. <laughs> Let's talk about moving in together, getting engaged. It could come out of nowhere, Aries. Shock, right? What you're thinking is the three of pentacles. Now, Aries, you could either be thinking, yeah, 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 I still think they're going to juggle me with their ex. I don't think they're over their ex. Or you are simply thinking, oh my goodness, I did not expect this person to turn up wanting to rebuild the foundation of this relationship. 
right? What you're fearing is a seven of pentacles. Now, for some of you, this was seven months ago. For some of you, seven years ago, there was investment put into this connection. You're fearful that either this happened too long ago, you know, a lot's happened since we last saw each other, since we last connected. Or what you're nervous about is that they're still hanging on to their long-term investment or their ex that they might have had seven years with. You're worried about that. There could be something here to do with a work connection as well. Maybe this person with the justice card, which can be a legal contract and the three of pentacles, wants to come back into your life. But it may be that they do it in a side entrance type way, you know. Well, we could work on a project together, Aries. You know, we, we could work together on this project or something like that. But you know that the reason why they're asking you to team up with them is because they want to start a relationship with you maybe again. So this could have started in the workplace. For some of you, you're confused as to whether or not this person is wanting you or whether or not this person is wanting you to help them with some kind of legal contract or financial deal. So this could have begun in the workplace or this is someone that you teamed up with, could be a client, could be project manager, could be something like that. And you two work together somehow. This could even be, you know, if you were sorting out your house, it could be your architect or your interior decorator. I don't know what this is. There may be some legal or financial tie. Let's just leave it at that. OK, in your hopes, Ace of Wands, hoping that this is going to be a passionate new start, hoping this is going to, I'm hearing, go the distance. And with the Knight of Swords, there's going to be straightforward, honest communication. Could be about a legal case. The King of Swords can sometimes be a lawyer. The Justice can be a court case. Knight of Swords is the result of a court case. Now, I don't know, guys, if this person was actually married, it could be they come in to say, I'm in the middle of a court case. I'm ending things with my ex. I'm actually divorcing them. And I want to team up with you. And it's kind of, oh my goodness. But this is challenging because I don't think they told you the truth in the past, Aries. Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is someone who either lied to you and felt guilty. Lied to you, maybe that they weren't going back to their ex and they did. Or simply you realise this person was on the rebound and hadn't gotten over their ex. With the Five of Cups, I feel this is either you feeling very sad about this or this is this man or this woman feeling guilty, maybe, that they lied. Six of Cups in reverse, somebody is saying, I'm not going back to the X. Start in reverse. They didn't get their wish come true. The whole situation with the X didn't work out. But I don't know, Aries, whether or not this is your dream come true or not. Because there's a lot of water that went under the bridge. And I don't know if you trust this person. But they're coming in with a really serious offer. I mean, here we have it. King of Wands, marching in, I'm going to take action, I'm going to do this, I'm acting with integrity, okay? Page of Pentacles, turning up with a gift, wanting to tell you they're signing divorce papers for some. Mm. Five of Swords, are they being selfish or is it quite exciting, Aries, that they're actually fighting to come back into your life? It'll be different for everyone. You're all in different situations. So, as always, we're delving in. Here we go. Archangel Michael, what is the Seven of Cups in the reverse crossed with the Two of Wands in the reverse? You're coming out of confusion that they are wanting to come back, Aries. The Chariot, Cancerian energy. I mean, this is someone who was stopped deliberating Stop dragging their feet. They are rushing back in. Could be from a distance. Queen of Wands. There's you looking absolutely amazing. 
very powerful, very sexy, taking no BS whatsoever. Hmm. What else is Aries thinking about? Yeah, interesting. I thought this was over, says Aries. Or, oh my goodness, they're coming in to transform the situation. For some of you, you may be connecting to a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart. What else is Aries thinking about? <laughs> yeah, shock, disbelief. Oh my goodness, the tower. Scorpio, Aries, energy. I can't believe it. They're ending things with their ex finally and because they want me back. I don't know how I feel about that. Part of you is elated. Part of you feels cross. You think they're just going to waltz into my life? Well, I probably they probably will because I probably want them to. But I should act as if I'm very angry about it. Aries, it's going to be really, really mixed emotions. It's going to be tough. <laughs> it's going to be tough. Michael, what is the Six of Wands, please, in Aries' thoughts? I mean, either this is you thinking they're thinking they're going to arrogantly walk back into my life, thinking I'm just going to take them back, or this is you quietly feeling a bit smug. Yeah, I knew that they weren't going to be happy with their ex. Mm -hmm. They won't be back. Absolutely. I knew it all along. Type of energy. Michael, what is the Six of Wands? <laughs> what is the Six of Wands? Yeah, feeling victorious because this person is not happy with their ex, right? Yeah, it didn't work out. Oh, what a shame. Oh, you're coming back to me now, right? Mm-hmm, thought you would. Sort of energy. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. What is Aries thinking about? Yeah, what you're thinking about, Aries, is I knew it was going to happen. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I knew they'd come back to me eventually. I knew they would. This is destiny. I knew we were supposed to be together. This is what you're thinking about, Aries. <laughs> All right. What is the Justice card? Let's dip into your person's energy. What is the Justice card? What is the Justice card? Empress. They know you're the one, Aries. They know you're the one. Empress. They see you as somebody kind, nurturing, you've got your life together, you're strong, you're ambitious. They've, you've got everything going for you. Everything going for you. Four of Wands. For some of you, this is Twin Flame. 1111. They want to move in with you, they want to lock you down, get engaged. This is someone who is thinking very seriously. This is someone thinking very seriously. Oh my goodness, cars actually flying. Michael, can we just double check who this person is thinking about, please? Who is this person thinking about? Yeah, the person they want to reunite with. Three cups. Yeah, they're thinking about you. Just to double check, they're not still thinking about their ex or hanging on to their ex. No, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about reconciling with you, Aries. Wow. Yeah, five of pentacles in the reverse. They're coming out of feeling left out in the cold. Yeah, they want you back. Aries, king of cups. I mean, this is someone who has passion for you. They love you. They believe you still love them too. I have to say that. King of cups. King of cups. Yep, and there we have the messages, eight of wands. I want to come and see you. I want to tell you how I feel. I realised I still love you. Will you take me back? How is Aries feeling with the three of pentacles? <laughs> Aries, pretty damn good. Nine of pentacles. Yeah, you see my worth. Yeah, you see I'm looking really hot. Yeah, you see I'm really stable. It's as if you are sitting there going, yeah, I, it was only a matter of time that you came back to me. Mm -hmm. You're amused, is the energy. You're amused. Page of Wands. So they're sending you eight message, messages and you may send them one back. Yeah, okay, we can meet up, you know. I mean, this is this person saying, I'm so sorry, I really miss you, I love you, can we meet up, please will you forgive me, I made a massive mistake, it didn't work out with the ex, etc, etc. 
your little message, cool as a cucumber, is okay. I think I've got some time next week. I can meet you for half an hour. Super cool, Aries. Super cool. Yeah, there's a little bit of, I'm just going to make you wait a little bit. <laughs> Very calm. I'm getting an urgent energy from your person. Um, Please, please, please type of energy. Please, please, please. And you're there going, yeah. Um, I might have time in my very busy schedule with all my other dates that I've got lined up. <laughs> You're going to be rubbing this person's nose in it a little bit. Yeah. What else is Aries thinking about? What else is Aries thinking about? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I knew they were hanging on to me. Yeah, I knew that they were going to be coming back. It's really interesting because your back is turned in all of these three cards, very slightly from your person. Almost as if you're trying to give them the air of you not being that bothered. I mean, this is you. Okay. All these messages coming in from your person. Yeah, okay. Get, yeah, when I've got time, I, I'm quite busy right now. Yes, okay. <laughs> Little message. Yeah, all right. Maybe next week. Mm, I'm quite busy at the moment. I'm doing a few other things right now. I mean, very cool, Aries. Super cool. This person can't believe it. Um, now, it could be that they can't believe it that you are so chilled. They may have expected arguments, remonstrations. No, no, no. You're very relaxed. Because I think for the majority of you, even though you're quite excited about this, you're not going to jump into it. You're not going to jump into it. And they know it. I think they're a bit stressed about that. How else is Aries feeling? Yeah. <laughs> magician. You are the magician, Aries. Very powerful. Some of you are highly intuitive. You know that you can manifest this person in. I'm hearing at the drop of a hat. You know it. Mm, I'm hearing wrapping them around my little finger. <laughs> yeah. What else is Aries thinking about? What else is Aries thinking about? Really funny. Judgment. Yeah, they face their karma. Mm hmm. Yeah, I knew I knew that they'd be coming back to me. But the other energy here, Aries, is you saying to yourself this time it's got to be a really serious offer for me to even think about bringing them back into my life. It's not as if, Aries, you're sitting in arrogant energy. You're not. You think this person is cheeky to fly back into your life after putting you through what they did. And so you're quietly feeling very smug at this time. It's the only word for it, Aries. It is. I knew you'd be back. I knew you'd be back. Yeah, well, I'm just going to make you wait for a few days because you kind of broke my heart. You kind of left me for the ex. I'm not having that. You're saying to this person, you need to make a really serious judgment call about me. Have you faced karma? Are you definitely over your ex? I mean, are you completely detached from your ex? What is your situation? I think, Aries, you've got a lot of questions for them. But initially, after this barrage of messages, all you're going to say is, yeah, OK, well, we can meet for half an hour. That's it. That is it. You're not giving this person any idea as to whether or not you're interested, whether or not you're with anyone else, whether or not you're going to bring them back into your life. Nothing. I'm hearing, let them sweat. Let them worry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's going to have to be a serious offer for you to accept them back. What is the energy between these two people? Yeah. Six of swords. Now, there could have been a third party situation in the past. This can be an affair card for me. Or very simply, both of you do want to move to calmer waters in the situation. There could also be travel involved. Somebody may even be considering moving, moving back to be where you live, for instance. 
There could be talk about that. We've got travel cards here. Okay, Michael, what is the Knight of Swords? Now, this could be this person coming in to tell you the truth, which is a situation has been sorted. Um, it's, I'm hearing it's over. Yeah, the world. Okay, Aries. So a situation is over and done with. There could be communication over the World Wide Web. There could be long distance travel. You're thinking that you can now move very confidently forward into the situation. Very nice. Very nice. What else have you got, please, for my Aries? You could be still feeling a little bit stressed. But with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, I think if this person was hanging on to another relationship, it is over and done with. With the Justice card and the Knight of Swords and the world, it could be that this person comes in to say, yeah, this is really over with my ex. I mean, you know, if they were living with them, I've moved out, we're selling the house. If this person um, was in the same country as them and they were dating long term, they may say to you, right, I'm moving to your area so we can live very close to each other. So, you know, it will prove that I'm not trying to have an affair with my ex at long distance. It could be if this person was actually married that they are going through a divorce. OK, signing divorce papers, taking action. This can be legal emails, knight of swords, factual emails. Yes, you are moving through the divorce process. Things are ending. OK, so how is Aries feeling? two of cups so it may well be you let down your guard Aries and you admit yeah you knew I loved you all along you knew that we were going to come back together again this is kind of sweet it is kind of sweet <laughs> two of cups okay what else do we have for Aries seven of wands you may stand your ground about wanting a serious commitment with them it could be that you say to them, OK, well, all right, you sorted out the situation with the ex. You're not going back. But don't just think you can come into my life and casually date me. Mm. Um, so you're standing your ground that you do want something serious. But I think that this person is prepared to say, OK, I get it. Yeah, I put you through enough. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. How is Aries feeling? How is Aries feeling? Pretty damn good. Again, nine of cups. I kind of got everything I wanted. In the end, I'm hearing after a lot of crap that had to go down. <laughs> Aries. Okay, finally. But you know what? It was kind of worth it. It's, it's, it's just interesting energy. The sun, yeah. So we could definitely have travel with the sun energy. Aries, it could be that you're reconnecting with a Leo. What's going to happen in the future for my Aries? Yeah, five of wands in reverse. So no more having to fight off the X competition, right? This is you realising that this person really does want back in. They're willing to do what it takes to bring you back into their life. And there are no arguments. If you guys argued before, there were squabbles, there were issues, it's all dying down. This is a lot of happiness and enlightenment. A lot of happiness and enlightenment. Yeah. And excitement, your card of Aries, the Fool. Very excited. This is a brand new start. This is wiping the slate clean. This could even be relocation or your person's coming to live in your area. This is super exciting, Aries. Really exciting. My goodness. Okay, what else do we have? It's going to take some guts. Strength card. It's going to take some guts to take this leap of faith because you don't know for certain if this is really going to work out. Again, Leo energy. 
but you're very excited about this. You're very excited. What else do we have for my Aries? What else do I have for my Aries? Hierophant in reverse. Now, this could be clarification. Your person is divorcing. It could be that there's a conversation about putting the whole talk about marriage on the back burner. Let's not rush into getting engaged, getting married. Let's just see how things go. Sort of energy. Could be. There could also be somebody here who may be changing their religion. Hierophant can be religion in the reverse, changing their religion, maybe to be of the same religion as somebody else. Uh, maybe to make a family happy, community of people happy. OK, you know, if you're this religion, I will then move to your faith. Could be something like that. Ace of Pentacles, though, I mean, this is a really stable relationship. This is going to go long term. I think, Aries, what you're wanting to do is take it slowly. Particularly if somebody's just come out of a marriage, they're not going to be wanting to go straight into another marriage, although I think that they would be willing to, to get you back into their life. I think you're going to say to this person, slowly, slowly, we need to rebuild the trust. I want to make sure that this is really going to work out. Um, you could almost feel it as well, Aries, as if this person needs to settle their energies because they could have rushed towards you, dated you, rushed back to the ex, rushed towards you again, and it's all been a bit chaotic and a bit much. I think you just want the waters to kind of just settle. And for you two to get grounded, things to get back to normal. And then you can talk maybe about getting really serious in the future. But I think the lovely thing is, Aries, is that they are willing to offer you something very, very serious. And I think just knowing that is going to make you feel, OK, I'm going to give them a chance again. And they know that this time they will have to prove that they are going to stay committed to you. This is beautiful. All right, let's move to Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's see, Aries, what they would want to say to you. Here we go, guys. Archangel Michael, what would this person want to say to my Aries, please? Mm. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah. I think you've been on this person's mind a lot, Aries. What else does this person want to say to my Aries? Mm. <laughs> Just being near you is intoxicating. I think they're a bit obsessed, Aries. But I also feel that since the, I think this person brought a lot of chaos into your life and you were hurt in the past, this person knows that they can't do it again. It really would be game over if they messed up again, you know. And so I think you're feeling pretty secure in the fact that this is now just going to settle into a beautiful new renewed relationship a beautiful renewed relationship okay so guys yeah i'm leaving it there i hope that's helped sending love and light your way as always and i will be back before you know it with your next set of readings bye guys